All right, it's time for that seven days podcast. I was supposed to upload this Friday on November fourth, two thousand sixteen, but Jesus Christ, I was so tired. Fell asleep nine p.m. on Wednesday. No, Thursday, I should say. Right, and then I woke up one thirty a.m. on Friday morning, and then stood up all the way. For the rest of the day. And I was way too tired to uh, record. So I'm like, you know what? Let's uh, let's get this shit out the way right now. Let's just... Let's record now. I feel good now. Not really that much tired. I'm, I'm good now. Now, obviously, I've watched a lot of uh, videos about WWE news. And and just how, how things are going. And what is the biggest story. Now the biggest story so far is is about the Undertaker. Now I saw the clip of the Undertaker with this long hair and him in his in his uh, attire, his gimmick, you know, going to a basketball game and stuff, and saying what's up to Kevin Love of the Cavaliers. Now I was happy as fuck to see his long hair back. I was like, okay, he must be bald. From the top, but back, it looks like my old Undertaker from 2009. So, I'm happy to see that his hair grew back, and he looks like, you know, he feels like he could go. He looks like he can go, but, I don't know. And then, um, biggest news story that SmackDown's gonna have, the 900th episode on, I believe, the SmackDown Before Survivor Series, which is about, what? A couple of weeks from now, like two weeks, three weeks from now. So, I honestly, I honestly can't wait for that. The Undertaker to come back, and hopefully, it will start something for his uh, opponent at WrestleMania. If this is his last WrestleMania, he's gotta face either John Cena or someone like AJ Styles or a Seth Rollins. I don't know someone. Uh. Like, ah, there's so much news. I mean, the, uh, what was it, the 205 Live, right, for the Cruiserweights? Um, I honestly don't know how I feel about that. I feel like, okay, that's another show. I'm probably not going to watch it. But, I don't know. Let's see how I feel. I mean, Mar- Mar- Ronaldo and Corey Graves are commentating, so I'm going to give the first episode a shot, and let's see where we go from there. Um, I've heard other news like, you know, Billy Corgan left TNA. He's done with TNA now. So, I I don't know what's going to go on. I don't know what's going to happen with TNA now. Are they going to go out of business or do they have the money to fund what they need or I don't know. And honestly, I just hope something positive comes through for TNA Impact Wrestling. But besides all that, you know, let's just get into this week about what's going on with WWE. I did not watch Lucha on the ground this week, and I have not seen Impact Wrestling fully. I have seen some clips, you know, Brandy Rhodes. Uh, uh, I'm not used to her being the ring. I'm used to her being a ring announcer. She was a great ring announcer in WWE, you know, but... She wanted to be a wrestler, so I can't I can't fault her. I can't blame her for doing what she wanted to do for so long. Wanted to ha- ha- like do what she was what she was dreaming about for all these years and shit. You know, you can't we can't really blame her for that. So she, but when she goes out wrestle, she it, it, it's it's a little bit awkward. I'm gonna be honest. It's a little bit awkward to see her wrestle, and you know the clothesline that she delivers. It's awkward, but. Well, what can I say? She, she just started, you know, in the ring. She probably wrestled in the indies a little bit while she was with Cody Rhodes going through the indies, the indie scene. So, we'll see what's up with that later on. The story between Cody Rhodes and Mike Bennett and the wives getting involved. You know, the tag team match was, ooh, like I said, a little bit weird, awkward, but... In the end, Cody Rhodes 
and uh, Brandy Rhodes able to get the win with their submission holds the last time you know that they fought. Cody Rhodes and Bennett, you know, weeks before they had a great match on Impact. So I don't know. I want Cody Rhodes back in WWE so fucking bad. Like, what is with me with these guys leaving the company because they're so like they're just not happy at all. And now I'm sitting here saying I want them back. And it's true. I want them I want them back, you know. You never know what what you have until it's gone or whatever the fucking saying it is. So I mean, Cody Rhodes, when he was stardust, you know, I st- I still enjoyed the fact that he's still there. You know, that's the thing. When people rip on Kane and Big Show and all these guys, you know, well, for me, I can't, I can't really do that because I never uh, had the amount of time to see Big Show like everyone else. Everyone else seen Big Show since '95. I've seen Big Show since '09, bro, and now he's barely on TV. He's still contract with WWE, but in-ring wrestling, he's going to be done by next year, by WrestleMania. And the fact that he's going to go face Shaq is still, still abysmal to me. I, I still don't like it, but, hey, he wants to do that, he wants to do that, you know. That's just him. I, I, I feel like he should go up against a guy like Braun Strowman, but after what happened on that Monday Night Raw before Big Show had his podcast with, with Stone Cold... Heading into fast lane, I don't think we're gonna see that match ever again. Uh, but yeah, all these guys, Kane. I'm glad to see Kane every week, even though I'm, I, even though there's times where I'm like, <sighs> you know. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I still like it when he does the pyro thing and he comes out. And she, I don't like the pyro with the four little shits coming out. You know. I, I don't really like that type of pyro. I like the power where you can't see shit. It's all blurry. But Kane coming out and doing his thing, I still like it. I just want Kane to fix his fucking, the wig. Fix the wig. It's always fucking high, yo. Like I, It's like if Stephanie McMahon had a bad hair day and the hair is standing up. Like if, if, like if the fucking hair had an erection, it's up. You can't bring it down. I, I, I don't know. But besides that, you know, I'm glad to see Kane on TV still. You know, and that that's all there is to it. I still enjoy seeing these guys on TV, regardless um, how old they are or regardless, you know, that it's a new era and all that crap. You know, I still want them. I still want to see them. I still want them to like wrestle and shit, but that's just me. Um, so how in the cell? I mean, we had the women. We had Rollins and Owens, and we had Reigns and Rusev. Which match was the worst one out of all? Reigns versus Rusev. Why do you ask? Why would you hit someone with a fucking kendo stick while he's wearing pads? That is like... I don't know if this can work, but I don't know if this is possible. This could be possible. I could be wrong, but I'm going to use this shit anyways. This is like trying to get a woman pregnant while wearing a fucking condom. I I, I don't think it's going to work. It could work still, but I don't know if it's going to work. You know, fucking Rusev hitting Roman Reigns with a kendo stick while he's wearing his padding. If he could take the pad off, then it would be effective. But no, no. You know, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole thing about Reigns being a Superman and all that shit, you know. It's just that, ugh. Why? And and when Rusev had the chain on, on, on Reigns and had the accolade on, I'm just looking back. I'm just thinking, hmm, John Cena 2015. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what I'm seeing right there. So, and then Reigns, the, oh, the one thing that, could, that opened my eye a, a tiny bit, was when he jumped off the steel steps and speared Rusev, one, two, three. Now, these two are capable of having a good match. It's just that we've seen it for fucking months. Since the late, since late, Jan- since late July, bro. Since late July, we've seen these guys go at it again and again. Brawl after brawl, match after match. Good 
God, end it already. Thank God it's over now. I hope. But, uh, I mean, Mick Foley, I don't understand Mick Foley's logic or the, the, or the booking of Monday Night Raw's logic at all. So, hold on. I'll get to that in a sec. So, uh, Raw is the only tight agree match. Best match of the night. Best Hell in the Cell match of the night out of the three Hell in the Cell matches. The women was, like, number two, at least. And, you know, leading up to the end, uh, when Owen sprayed the referee with the fire extinguisher, I was like, okay, either Triple H is going to come through or maybe Jericho. Jericho comes through and he locks in the key. He locks in the door. I'm like, okay, yes, this could happen. Now, I had hope that Jericho was probably going to turn on Owens or maybe Owens was going to turn on Jericho. But at the same time, I'm glad that didn't happen because these guys are fucking entertaining as hell. Why would you break these up? Why would you break these guys up, man? You know, if they're going to break them up, at least break them up when Jericho's going to leave. Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. So, he's locked in with Owens. Glorified handicap match. Rollins trying to fight it, but in the end, got caught. Jericho and Owens able to, uh, you know, have, have the upper hand and able to defeat Seth Rollins and Ty Hell in the Cell. Now, after that, we had the tag team and I want this on and Sheamus to win, but nope. New Day has to walk out their champions again. <sighs> it's like they're entertaining, but I don't care. You know, entertaining is one thing, but being a champion means another. And I can't take it anymore that the New Day are still champions right now. I can't I can't take it. You mean like well, what? What you're afraid to take it off the take off the uh, the championship from the new day? Like what happens? What they're gonna get stale? They're gonna get... turn them heel. You turn them heel, they would be ten times more funnier. Think about it from last year, making fun of the, the towns, fucking, you know, taking good so taking songs like Alicia Keys and Jay Z's, you know. And the, that one song about New York, and then they made it their version at SummerSlam last year. You know, Save the Tables from the Dudleys. You know, like, seriously. Funny material they had as big heels. Now their baby faces are sucking up. I can't take it. A little bit of cringy. I honestly hate it when they do the WWE World Tag Team. I, I do now. It's really annoying now. It's like, come on. Like, you shouldn't even be the champions, man. You shouldn't. But, like, I'm not saying you don't deserve it. I'm just saying, come on. Like, end it already. Like, just because some people sue your ass, you're going you're gonna to break a record? I mean, if you're, if you're going to break the record, at least... Break it and then let them lose it right after because seriously, I can't take this shit anymore. So hopefully at the next uh, defense, which will be at Roadblock, uh, they will lose the tag team titles to I don't know who, but someone. I mean I don't know who's there to, that's worthy to fight New Day for the tag team titles. I mean, I'm looking at Anderson and Gallows, Enzo and Cass, Shining Stars, Golden Truth. Who's there? I, I don't know. No one's there, bro. No team is there. There's no teams on Raw. SmackDown. I mean, Survivor Series is looking good for SmackDown. But Raw. Just Raw is garbage. And if you made it this far in the video, that's good. Because I'm going to let you in something on right now. Now, this is not confirmed. This is not legit. But in my opinion, at Survivor Series. I honestly think Monday Night Raw is going to beat SmackDown. Do you want to know why? SmackDown's getting good reviews. SmackDown's actually actually being consistently good every week. Recently, you know, Monday Night Raw looking shit. Monday Night Raw is the flagship show, I guess. Monday Night Raw getting bad press. Everything about Monday Night Raw is negative. Do you really think that they're going to let SmackDown win? I 
doubt it. But I'll be surprised if they let SmackDown win at Survivor Series because then gives gives SmackDown, I guess, that little push. But I feel like they, that they're gonna be stupid enough to give Raw that little push and let Raw win at Survivor Series. I honestly do think that. Seriously. Like, no bullshit. I think that's exactly what's going to happen at Survivor Series. Monday Night Raw will beat SmackDown. I will not be shocked if that happens at all. You know? Monday Night Raw is going to get a one win, maybe for the tag teams. And then the, the second win would be on the main, Raw, the main men team. So... We'll see. Am I right? Am I wrong? If I'm right, then you heard it first, you know. Uploading on a level, uh, uh, sorry, uh, November 5th, 2016. You heard it here first, guys. Remember that. So, I mean, SmackDown, you know, they're building their tag teams, the women, and the main stars. Fucking. So, I mean, SmackDown's building to TLC also. They're not just building to Survivor Series. They have another pay-per-view December 4th, two weeks after from November 20th to December 4th, two weeks, SmackDown has an exclusive a, exclusive pay-per-view, uh, WWE TLC. And they already have a match set up already. The WWE World Title in a TLC match, Ambrose versus AJ Styles. And they're already building it. Why do you think they keep doing this James Eldworth stuff, man? They're building and building and building. And I won't be surprised. I'm going to say this right now. I will not be surprised at all. Or I might be a little bit shocked that James Ellsworth cost either AJ Styles or Dean Ambrose the WWE World Title at TLC by shoving one of them off the ladder and the other comes in and gets the title. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what I think is going to be the ending of the championship match at this point. But we'll see in the next coming weeks. Monday Night Raw, what are they building up to? They're only building Goldberg and uh, Lesnar. They're not building up their teams. They're barely building up the women. And they didn't even build up the fucking men. They just they just announced them on Raw. And then guess what? A US title match. And here's what I here's what I was gonna get to this point. Why did Jericho get a US title match? I'm sitting there thinking, okay. You know, I mean Raw makes no sense, so let's just give Jericho a US title match, even though Mick Foley said it himself. Oh, he left a bad taste in his fucking mouth. I guarantee you, if it was anyone else, they would be punished for what they've done. But no, it's Y2J, so we're just going to let him, let him uh, get a pass. You know? So, Jericho gets rewarded. He leaves a bad taste in the GM's mouth. And he probably upset Stephanie McMahon also. So, so why did he get a US title match? Oh, because, you know, we needed a main event. For the show. Wow. Huh. Wow. Okay. No wonder you get too many of your fucking views, you piece of shit. Like, God, even PewDiePie gets more views than Money Night Raw. Even, even some YouTubers get more views than Money Night Raw. <laughs> like, for God's sakes, man. Um... Raw just building... Raw is like... It's like... It's, this, uh, this feels like high school to me. Monday Night Raw is that one guy in the class that, you know, like the teacher announced that there's going to be a project dude one month from now or three weeks from now. And that one student, Monday Night Raw is that one student that says he's going to get the job done early so he don't have to worry. But yet he procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate and fucking wastes so much time and, and slacking off and, and, and just fucking around. And when it's the final week, then he starts to work on his shit. Then he starts working on his project, his assignment, and, and try to get the job done before the due date. SmackDown is that one guy, the one other guy in class, where he actually does get the job done and before, before the assigned due date comes through. So, I think, I think that's the best thing I can say for both Raw and SmackDown. So, there you guys have it. Uh, today's podcast is a little bit short. Uh, I feel like, you know, I could have went on longer, but I don't really think there's any, that there was much to talk about. So, leave your comments down below what you guys think of what I said this entire video. If you guys can, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and I am out. A later. Later.